Yeah. What's going on guys? It is your boy Chance and I am back today with another gameplay commentary for you guys. And this gameplay is pretty cool I thought so I decided to get a commentary up over it. It is a 3v4 gameplay. In league play we actually ended up winning. It's a hard point on Yemen. As you can see it was a league play game like I said. 3v4. We had to play this entirety, entire game, 3v4. Our player ended up leaving as the match was locked in somehow. And on the other team, there was a kid that was number one in his master division, so he was trying. And uh, the other three on the other team were actually, you know, trying their hearts out, I guess you could say. Because, you know, getting BP 3v4 is pretty embarrassing, you know, especially when you are taking it serious. But we ended up getting the job done, no problem, nonetheless. And, uh, is a decent gameplay for myself so decided I'll talk about you know post MLG Anaheim my thoughts and reactions from the weekend you know as a spectator from my home and the stream in general and all that so I just want to start off you know with this topic by saying how amazing you know the presentation and entertainment value was from the stream this weekend from a spectator at home you know not being able to attend was it was amazing to say the least you know i didn't feel like i didn't miss not being at the event well you know it hurt not being there but the spectator you know the stream made up for it throughout the weekend it was great games all weekend they did a great job interacting with the crowd with the new uh new twitter polls that was awesome that was an awesome add-in they uh when a clutch kill came up they raised the uh crowd's audio you know, they got the mic above the cr the spectators, and they raise that audio, you know, just give another experience. That was awesome. And just, you know, Puckett, Wiz, Golden Boy, Benson, Stro, they all did a great job, you know, commentating. They're all great commentators. They have a great lineup. MLG did a good, did a good job um, even bringing Benson out. I, I like his commentating. You know, he's a good, you know, mix up when you have a commentator him and golden boy are great together a uh, great pair of commentators together and like i said this overall weekend as a spectator was awesome you know i enjoyed every game that was on stream except for that termination match you know that's another team you know termination that <laughs> just goes to show you what those online qualifiers do for you you know i don't think they won a series just like cloud burst and they still got top Top 20, I think they still placed. I think they placed 17th through 24th or whatever it is. But, but, but yeah, you know, I was able to catch probably about 90% of the matches throughout the weekend. Friday, I caught most of it. Uh, Saturday, I missed a few series, and Sunday, I caught all of it. And every day, you know, had great matches. Uh, Friday night, opening up, uh, everyone's anticipating the Evil Optic match to end the night, and. Let me tell you, you know, going into that, everyone was like, oh, Evil's going to, you know, beat Optic. But the polls didn't lie. You know, Optic Optic fans were all over the polls the whole weekend, you know, just crushing the other teams they were playing. And Optic had a good run. I'll give them that. But, you know, I definitely, you know, a lot of teams predicted Evil going top three, top six at the least or at the, uh, at the worst in this event. They're a strong team. They were strong on paper. They were strong online. And there was no reason they shouldn't have, uh, you know, placed in the money uh, with, you know, Too Quick, Huddle, uh, Spacely, and John. You know, like I said, they're strong online, strong on paper. But, you know, just something didn't click, and it really started after that first hard point um, against Optic Friday night. You know, Optic came out, and it looked like Evil wasn't prepared. You know, Optic came out slaying and uh, building momentum real quick, you know, getting everyone hyped. And I think they ended up taking the series three v or three three to one. I think I forget if uh, Evil won the CTF or S and D. I forget, but but yeah, you know that was the first upset of the weekend. Uh, it was great games. You know, it was a great way to end Friday night, and that was really what started Optics momentum throughout the tournament and really set Evil, you know, on a downer scale, which is a shame. You know. You know, I know a lot of the guys on Evil. They're all great kids, and uh, it, there was just, in my opinion, there's no motivational, emotional leader on that team to keep people in check, keep people's composures, and you know, keep them focused on the task ahead. And 
you know, they're all young players except for Too Quick. You know, Too Quick's the oldest on that team. But, you know, John's Faisley and Huddle are all young players still. And I, I guess they just let, you know, let that first hard point or, you know, that first series get ahead of them. And that will lead me to saying, you know, the two biggest upsets of the week are – or upsets of the weekend were Evil, obviously, and Envy. Envy was another big one. Envy not placing in the money, placing 9 through 12 with Evil. You know, because Envy lost to Icons Conquer, Ego's team. You know, shout out to them. I don't think a lot of people realize Ego, Ego was pro all of Black Ops 1. And everyone's freaking out because he got pro status. But, you know, Envy placing second at COD Champs and then coming here and not placing in the money was kind of out of whack. And that was another huge upset. And I think Evil got knocked out by FaZe for top eight. Yeah, I think that's who it was. But... You know, those are two big upsets. And, you know, Saturday night, I believe another big match was the uh, first Impact and Optic series where, you know, Impact won that, I believe. And, you know, the whole Karma teabagging thing on Slum's Hardpoint or CTF. I think it was Slum's Hardpoint, though, because, yeah, they won the series 3-1. Uh, Impact, you know, Nate Shot not shaking his hand at the end. But uh, you know that's just the team Impact is. You know they they just find ways to get in other the other team's head, whether it's trash talking. But you know trash talking is a little bit stricter uh, at MLG, so they have to find other ways. And you know you do whatever you can, especially when money's on the line. You know you do your best to get in the other team's head and throw them off their game. And you know I call going into Sunday. I called most of the I called the top three teams really except for the finals match. Um, I had Complexity beating Impact in winner's finals for a spot in the championship. And then I had Impact beating Optic and then coming back from the series deficit in finals and winning again. But, you know, it's uh, it didn't go my way in finals. They beat, they lost to Complexity, obviously. And the complexity show that they were they were going to take this event right there. I think after beating Impact because that was a huge momentum. That was the first time Impact was really beat, and then they went and beat Optic. Uh, Impact beat Optic in losers bracket, and then they went on to almost come back versus uh, Complexity. But that's the end of the video, guys. Complexity was champs. That's all for me. I am out. Peace.